Here are the steps to make a recycled wine stopper. Take a used cork, drill a 3 8 inch hole all the way through. That's attached to a 3 8 inch dowel with white or yellow glue. The only uh, important dimension in making one of this is what it looks like after it's been turned on the lathe is that this be three quarters of an inch or greater, somewhere around three quarters or seven eighths. If it's too small, this one is about a sixteenth under three quarters of an inch, then it will not seal in the top of a, of a wine bottle. This one that's the, the right size makes a nice seal. So the finished cork goes in, is glued into a stopper and that becomes the uh, completed stopper. I'm processing uh, corks here. I'm going to glue a 3 8 inch diameter dowel that I've cut off uh, on the bandsaw in about 3 inch lengths into the corks that are drilled. We'll start by looking at both ends and seeing which is better centered. Do that because the uh, better centered end is going to be the larger size of the bottle stopper cork when we finish it. So I've put a little bit of glue in the hole, stuck it in the dowel in about a quarter of an inch, add a little bit more glue. I'm using a wooden pallet to drive that home and then that's uh, finished. The, the cork is torn here a little bit but it won't be a problem because we can, when we go to the lathe, we can uh, cut that end off right there. So that's uh, finished, ready to dry. I'm using uh, white glue that's uh, a fast setting glue that could be uh, yellow glue or white glue, doesn't really matter. To turn these corks, I've got uh, a supply of uh, corks here that have been drilled with a 3 8 inch diameter hole and a 3 8 inch diameter, uh, 3 inch long dowel glued in. I'm using three turning tools to turn these. I've got a spindle gouge that's ground to about a uh, 25 degree angle and I keep that really sharp to turn the cork otherwise it'll uh, tear a little bit. And I've got two parting tools. One uh, very thin parting tool, about a uh, 32nd of an inch. And I've got another parting tool that's about uh, an eighth of an inch thick. The only other tools are a couple pieces of uh, sandpaper. I've got uh, some 80 grit sandpaper and some 150 grit sandpaper glued down to sticks. So those are the tools required. To complete the cork, I'm going to take the uh, cork, insert it into a keyless drill chuck, leave about three quarters of a half an inch sticking out beyond the chuck. The first step is to square off the end. Then I'm going to use the 8 inch uh, parting tool to shorten it a little bit. 
and make sure that it undercut the uh, base of it a little bit so that the cork will fit properly uh, when it goes into the uh, bottle stopper. I'm going to take a take the uh, spindle gouge and just slightly taper the port. Take some 80 grit sandpaper, flatten the surface, some 150 grit, smooth it and round over the corners a little bit. Take some beeswax, apply that to the surface, use a little cloth with some pressure to melt the wax into the cork. The wax will prevent uh, red wine from staining the cork and it also seals any little imperfections in the cork. Then I'll take a thin parting tool and part it off with about a half to three quarters of an inch long shaft sticking out and that's the uh, finished wine cork.